Hi guys, let's make some pizza today as you can see. So yes, I'll show you step by step how to make this pizza. So the ingredients I'll be using guys are uh, green, red, and, uh, yellow paper, some uh, cheese, and uh, minced meats, onions, tomatoes, carrots, and the nyama bite. Those will be the toppings. And I also have this instant yeast combined with some sugar and salt. So to start, I'm going to mix some sugar, like one tablespoon of sugar in some warm water, like uh, three quarter of a cup, and then add one tablespoon of instant yeast. This sugar will uh, um, fasten the yeast to activate. So mix that up. And then I'm going to leave it for like uh, five to seven minutes for the yeast to be activated. So set it aside. So on the other side, I had boiled some uh, tomatoes, orange, one carrot, and garlic uh, for like ten minutes in just uh, plain water. So I'm going to peel off these tomatoes and then blend all of them together. So in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm uh, creating the, the base. What is it called the base? The paste that will be on top of the pizza before you put on your toppings so this is how I usually make my paste yes yeah, so I mix carrots onions and uh, tomatoes and some garlic in one just at once and then I boil them to cook so I like to remove the the seeds of the tomato but you can skip that part and put the whole tomato don't put so much water we need a a thick paste not a a very light paste so blend that and this is the consistency we want guys a thick paste be so thick so that when you when you put it on your pizza it won't spill over I put it in the sofuria and then uh, put it uh, to boil so that all the ingredients and also the spices will blend and cook well So we're going to cook them for like 10 minutes or so. On the other sofuri, I'll be putting some feet of oil. And also on this other one, also I'll add some oil. And uh, I'll add some spices. Turmeric, paprika, um, coriander, and black pepper. So those are the, the spices I'll be adding. So leave them for like 10 minutes to cook. And also remember to add some salt. I'll also be adding some bit like I have a 
a tablespoon of sugar in this mixture to to neutralize the the tomatoes acidity and these others of where i've put my minced meat just put some oil and the minced meat and add some salt that's it nothing else you just want the minced meat to to harden with the oil to cook well with the oil so i initially boiled the minced meat for like 20 minutes or so and then now i'm frying it in this oil mix everything up and then i'm going also to add some tomato paste Yes, two tips, teaspoons of tomato paste. Mix it up. You can already see how high, how thick this paste is. So you let it boil. The mincemeat will cook in like 10 or 15 minutes. You should be ready. And remember to add your salt. So back to the uh, mixture of yeast and sugar and warm water. After five to seven minutes, it should be ready. Now I'm going to mix it up and add the flour. So my all purpose flour was almost was done, so I had to use this other one. So mix everything up. Remember you do should not be too thick and uh, also it should be soft enough. Don't make it too hard. It should be soft. So don't add too much uh, flour. Just add bit by bit. And also I'll be using some oil to help me with the stickiness. So work on it for a few minutes. I can say you can knit it for let's say five to eight minutes. It should be soft enough. Don't mind my little one there. She really loves following me around in the kitchen. Okay, so your dough should be soft if it's so soft and too, too sticky just add some flour and work on it until it's soft and everything has mixed up well this will take five to eight minutes so once you're done Put some oil on the container you'll be putting the dough so that you avoid it uh, from being uh, sticky yes so now cover it with some cling film and also on top you can add uh, the cotton towel and uh, leave it aside for like one hour or so 40 to one hour for it to double in size We will always take a stand for the people for the land. So after 10 minutes or so our paste has cooked and all the spices are 12. The, the paste is thick enough. So I'm going on, on to the toppings. I'll start with the nyama bites. So cut them the way you like them, uh, you can cut it in box or you can cut them round like I'm doing. And also I've uh, already prepared the papers, the, black, the yellow, green and red paper.
So after one hour, the dough is double in size and it's now ready to be used. So yes, it's so fluffy. Now I'm going to work on it a bit and uh, if it's sticky, just add some oil. I had forgotten to film when I was rolling, so yes. On your baking plate, put some oil to avoid the dough being uh, sticky on the surface of the container you'll be using to so spread some oil. And then be careful when transferring to your uh, cooking plate. So, yes, because my surface or the, the tin I'm using, the tray, sorry, the tray I'm using is somehow square. My pizza will be a square one as well. So don't overstretch it. It should be thick. The dough should be thick enough, not too thin. Now you add your paste. You can see how thick this paste is, and this is what you're looking for. Put enough paste. Then you add your green, yellow, and red paper on top. So I was so generous on this one. I, I love the, these uh, papers, so I, I was putting them a lot. I wanted every inch or every inch of that dough to have some paper. Now you're going to add the minced meat. Yes, make sure the minced meat is dry now. Don't put any water, just the way it was initially, with just oil. And it should be dry. So, sprinkle the minced meat all over. Because I'm putting all these uh, toppings, because I want a uh, juicy and uh, meaty pizza. You can skip uh, some of the toppings this uh you can always just put the nyama bites or any toppings you have but in this case i'm putting my minced meat and nyama bite and papers so yes put your nyama bites all over just enough as you like them and then you add your cheese The cheese will be the last to sprinkle. And there you have it. So now you're going to heat the oven for like a few minutes before putting in your dough. And then you're going to leave it for like 30 to 40 minutes. There we have our pizza. So according to how uh, you want it cooked, you can always take it back. In this case, I took it back for like another 10 minutes for the crust to be, uh, to, to burn enough or to cook enough like you're seeing now. Yes, yeah, so in this case, I cooked it for like 40 minutes. The crust was not that hard or was not uh, brown in color. It was just cooked but not brown. So let's cut this uh, sweet looking pizza. As I told you, the crust is very thick and it should be uh, enough for a family to take as dinner. You see the crust? It's well cooked. I'm going to cut it. And there we have our piece. It was still hot, so in case you're wondering why I'm using a spoon. It's still hot. And there we have our tea. So full, so juicy. And you can see how 
the paste the tomatoes carrots and uh, onions they really play a, a big part in uh, making pizza so don't skip the part of putting your paste as the base of the pizza looks so yummy and it also tastes yummy just see when you're saying it so it turned out well i'm happy guys so let's give it a try So, big. so I served it with some fries. This we cook for dinner. It's so yummy. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something and uh hope you click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get not notified uh, on all the videos i'll be uploading and uh see you soon see you on my next video thank you for watching and bye